Ashish was starting the morning with you. For our audiences, quickly, could you walk us through exactly what this case is? What are the accusations against the uh, Manish Sisodia uh, uh, governance? Tell us exactly what the CBI has had to say against him, uh, particularly when it comes to the policy and then the backtracking of the policy. So, Toya, you know, there are two aspects to the story. One is the allegations that has been leveled by the NG in his letter to the Home Ministry and the Home Ministry further sending it to DOPT to register an FIR and the DOPT decides to forward it to CBI. And the second aspect is where, you know, the CBI has registered an FIR with certain allegations. Now, uh, if you see that, uh, you know, what the LG says, the LG says that there has been policy deviations, there has been, uh, you know, a waiver of around 144 crore rupees, there is EMD return of uh, 30 crore rupees, which should not have been done. So there are, you know, numerous allegations that are leveled in the letter that has been sent uh, by the Lieutenant Governor. Now, going into the, the, the CBI FIR, it says that the CBI FIR very, CBI FIR very clearly says that uh, uh, the allegation is that uh, there was certain exchange of money in lieu of, uh, of, uh, of the policy benefits that were given to certain individuals. They have named around uh, 14, 15 accused in which there are certain private parties as well. There are private parties against whom the LOC has been issued. Uh, LOC has not been issued against, uh, against uh, uh, you know, the, the government servants, reason being that the government servants, especially in the case of Manish Sisodia, since he, if he has to travel abroad, he has to take permission from the left-hand governor. So the LOC is actually not required. Uh, they have to take permission. Now, there are certain private companies that have come into the picture. Uh, these private companies belong to, to certain accused who are getting into, the, into this matter, who are being investigated. Uh, at least six companies that that have basically come into the picture. And uh, these six companies are being directly or indirectly being accused of uh, passing on the benefits. There are certain people who are traveling abroad. Uh, I'm told that at least two people uh, who have been named as accused, they are traveling abroad. And as we know, that LOC is basically for entry as well as exit. So the moment these two people land in India, they will be detained at the airport by the immigration officials, and then they will be handed over to CBI. At that point in time, it will be decided whether CBI decides to arrest them or not, but then uh, it is the call of the IO at that point in time. Now, further going into the allegations on these companies, the allegation is that there are certain Telangana-based companies, uh, some Chennai-based companies as well. Apart from that, there are certain Delhi-based companies as well, where they exchanged money in lieu of... Uh, of benefits being transferred. There are certain blacklisted companies who are basically given the license. Uh, it's not only blacklisted, the, the license policy was basically twisted in turn and there were certain companies which basically cartelized. But, and despite that, you know, the, the excise the department, they turned a blind eye. But finally, when they realized that, you know, this, that uh, this, this is a big mistake that they have done, they started issuing show calls notices as well. So certainly there, there is something wrong somewhere that is that cannot be denied. Though Manish Sodia is denying it, we all know there is a political twist to the entire story. But ultimately, uh, there are facts on which, on basis of which, the case stands in the court of law. And we all know that organizations like CBI and ED they do not knock your door until unless they have absolute evidence against somebody. Ashish, uh, stay with us, uh, please. I want to go over to my colleague Arun Dhanta. He's with us live. I want to go over to him now for the political aspects of this story. Uh, Arun, we just had Ashish, our colleague, walk us through the case itself. He also walked us particularly through the angles that the CBI is investigating. But if you could now walk us through, over the weekend, we saw the mudslinging between the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party also reached decibel high levels. If you could walk our audiences through the claims we saw both sides make. Well, see, one thing is very clear that both uh, Aam Aadmi Party and uh, BJP are uh, not leaving any space for each other. Wherever they are getting the opportunity, they are targeting, uh, targeting each other. Now, what is happening, uh, we are seeing that back-to-back -back press conferences from the BJP leaders. We had seen even yesterday uh, on, on a Sunday, two press conferences uh, being done by BJP, hitting out at uh, Arvind Kejriwal, demanding 
the 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 details of uh, which they claim uh, you know uh, they have paid to those middlemen for that excise policy and on the other hand we are seeing aam aadmi party is very categorical uh, you know uh, in in hitting back at bjp saying that uh, it is because of uh, the education policy it is because of uh, the health infrastructure which they have improved and also the the story which was published in the new york times that is something which is making bjp worried and therefore uh, these agencies being used by by bharatiya janata party for political vendetta and uh, in fact they have also gone on to say uh, uh, gone on to say that uh, uh, you know bjp knows that it is going to be kejriwal versus uh, prime minister modi in 2024 because he is the only one who can take on take on the prime minister modi and therefore this is something which bjp cannot digest and therefore this unnecessary use of uh, agencies on manish uh, manish sisodia and before this they are saying on satyendra jain in fact uh, uh, they have already started saying this that uh, it will not be a surprise for uh, uh, for everybody if manish sisodia gets arrested after a few days and in fact manish sisodia tweet if you see yesterday toya where he uh, said that he is open to any investigation cbi had come to his residence they uh, you know uh, checked uh, every place every nook and corner of his house all the electronic gadgets uh, were taken away by the central bureau of investigation but they did not find uh, anything now uh, in they are issuing lo loc look out circular on which cbi sources uh, were telling that there was there was no loc against manish sisodia as of now the loc which were issued that was only is political political debate is heating up between both uh, both aam aadmi party and bjp and even today we are expecting when arvind kejriwal and manish sisodia will be in gujarat we are hoping uh, that bjp uh, will uh, will take on to uh, take on to both of them in press conferences that's what we had seen in past two or three days back to back press press conferences in a day from bjp seeking demanding answers from manish sisodia about which they say the money which were paid to the middlemen okay arun stay with us for our